Hey guys, Matt from Upsilon Mining. Today's video, I'm just gonna go over quickly how I literally saved my saved myself from going deaf from the screaming loud, uh, high, highly effective, um, but mind you, very loud, uh, 260 CFM fans. Stay tuned. <laughs> Today's video will be about controlling the fan speed of these 260 CFM fans from ParallelMiner.com with a fan controller from Noctua. Okay, well this is pretty easy to set up. So we have the existing fan controller here. Uh, and what we did is now is we've taken the uh, controller, attached a SATA power input to it, and then the output signal here, it's hard to see there, apologize. The output signal now runs into the control input on the control on the actual fan uh, hub. Fan hub. Okay, so if I go turn, it, I can turn it up or down by using this knob here. So right now it's at its lowest setting. I can turn it up now. Awesome, so that's great. So I can alter the actual um, intensity of this, these fans. They don't need to be on full blast all the time. So this is great. Okay guys, so uh, I realized I didn't explain it very clearly in the video, but basically what you do is you, you simply have uh, your three pieces of uh, hardware here. So you have your um, the Noctua knob controller, then you have this fan hub, which is uh, also a type of controller, but it doesn't have a manual adjust and adjustment knob on it. I just run a good old-fashioned knob, and uh, that's how uh, this works. And then you have your fans. So you can have as many fans as you want connected to the black connecting points on the hub. You can have up to four or eight or whatever, um, but keep in mind that the more fans you have, the more power draw there's going to be through that fan controller. And if you're powering... Um, that middle piece there, so the hub with a Molex control, you are limited by the number of watts, and these power these fans are powerful. Um, just keep in mind that each one's going to use about 30 watts, drawing about 12, uh, sort of drawing about 30 watts at 12 volts. Um, but the knob essentially will lower that. I did notice and no, uh, did notice that the power did drop on my BDU when I did lower the fan. So. Um, you use more fans, more power is required to turn those fans, more air is more cooling, but you know the caveat to that is that you are also um, you're also going to be using more power. So uh, keep in mind that you don't want to overload the wire. So the more fans, um, be mindful that the more like I do have a video on the certain types of power connectors. Uh, I'll put in the link below. Go check that out. It goes over the different power connectors. Um, but a Molex, I think it's generally rated around 154 watts, don't quote me on that. Um, so you can run, say, four of these off that at maximum draw, which is what, 100, uh, 3 times 4, 120, yeah, my math. <laughs> 120 watts of, uh, of power, you can run it. Uh, if you start running five or six, then you could run the risk of burning out wires, melting things, and that's not good. You don't want to melt anything. Um, so essentially, this is how you, you power it. SATA power into the Noctua controller, so we could just kind of get a get one of the um, spare connectors off of the SSD power connector, run it into there, and then you run a four-pin connector into the red on the controller, sorry, the controller, the hub, and then that hub will then read that signal coming in in the red, and then adjust the uh, adjust the voltage going out to all the fans. So that essentially is how you wire it up. And that's it guys, uh, thanks for coming to the video. Keep in mind that I've linked everything below uh, where you can actually pick up uh, the fans themselves, where you can pick up the fan controller and the uh, adjustment knob, uh, adjustment knob uh, that I use to tap into the, the fan hub uh, to adjust the speed. So, I mean, in summary, these fans are awesome. Um, I always recommend going for more than you need because you can always adjust the speed, right? So why would you go for for example, a 110 CFM fan, or or, a, or maybe a maybe a quieter fan, but is only capable of running maybe 1800 RPM. When you can go with one that's capable of running like 6000 RPM and pushing out like four to five times more more air, um, 
when you can simply adjust it. I mean, don't use the maximum RPMs when you don't need to, but when you have them, you got them. If you choose other cheaper fans, you can't even adjust the, uh, you, can't, you don't even have the option of running uh, at a higher um, fan speed uh, if, if you need to. Like for example, let's say the summer comes and it gets super freaking hot outside, right? And then all that hot air just manages to seep its way into your mining farm room. Uh, like how, if, if your fans are fixed at 1800, you know, RPM and you can't go any higher, you're kind of screwed. I mean, you have to like do all kinds of crazy stuff. But if you have the option of these fans and say they're only running at like 60% when it's cooler out, you can turn them right up for a couple of days during those heat waves, right? So I always recommend um, getting crazy powerful fans and then just moderating the, the level at which they're at. Uh, I mean, you'll notice a huge difference. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe um, and click the like button below. The like button will actually help me uh, grow this channel because I'm a new channel, new YouTuber. Um, and uh, it'll help other people, you know, help the YouTube algorithm uh, select, you know, more options for other people and uh, in turn other people will watch a video and hopefully like it and comment on it too. So feel free to comment below what you think about this. And until then, guys, keep on mining. Thank you.